YouTube, YouTube, it's your boy Mike Lethal in the building. In the flesh, you feel me? Um man, today is crazy, man. I've been dealing with some shit, bruh. A lot's been going on, man. I thought I was just gonna get on here and start being consistent. And then some shit. Shit just happens, man. Um man. It's a lot going on at this job, man. It's, it's very frustrating. It's just a lot of just miscommunication. I'm still in Houston doing work. Um, ready to go. Ready to fucking go, man. I'm tired of being here. Um, not so, so much as this not being a good place to be. But, like, as far as me just wanting to go home and just, you know what I'm saying? Just be at, be at home, man. Get to see, get to see my girl and just, I ain't gonna lie, like, man, I'm just missing my little babies, man, for real. Like, that's all I really want to see right now. Like, I've been going through this little Houston situation for about six weeks now. Um, it's probably going to be, like, the ninth week I've been out. So, like, technically, I've been out for, like, two months. Usually, we go home. Usually, we go home at, like, you know, seven. We're supposed to be out for only seven weeks. And that's cool. Like I say, a little extra time, a little more money. But now, it's just, like, dealing with this story is really nerve-wracking because it's a lot of, a lot of communication is terrible here. Um, there's days where we're not doing what we're supposed to do. And that's just an added on extra day to what we're doing. It's very frustrating. Um, I just came on here to vent really. Um, I already go home, man. I, I've enjoyed, I enjoyed my little time here in Houston enough. <laughs> I already go home, man. Just chill, be, be able to focus on what I need to focus on. Obviously trying to get this house, man. Spend a little more time with my my baby girl, uh, who I miss so much. Like for real, like I've been here. Like I'm just getting. I'm think I'm going through a little depression. Being here, um, it's very stressful because um, it's a lot of stuff that's going on that we really don't know what's going on. It's just a lot of miscommunication when it coming when it comes to work. So like, man. I'm just waiting for it to be over. Uh, I'm just waiting on it to be over. Um, but yeah, man. Um, it's a lot going on, man, with me. Uh, basically, I had a little situation happen uh, last week where, um, actually, uh, first off, I'm gonna go ahead and say happy. I mean, R.I.P. to my cousin. My cousin actually just died uh, recently. So that's, that really put me in an emotional state because there's somebody I grew up with, somebody I was very close to, and, um, you know, just found out he died. Um, he died, I guess, from what I'm hearing, he died in his sleep. So, yeah, rest in peace to my cousin. Um so I found that out like two weeks ago. And then after that, um, I wound up talking to a couple people about the situation. And you know, people that he was real close to and stuff like that. We talked for a little bit. And um, I wanna say like the next week later, like not even like a few, three days, three, four days later, I get a message in my in, on my Facebook, and I don't usually hit people up on Messenger because I'm I'm really not really a, a I'm really I'm trying to be, but it's like it's hard for me. I'm not really a social media type of person, so I've been I I've been dealing with I've been trying to get more in tune with social media, but I still can't. So somebody hit me up on somebody that I was talked to recently hit me up on. Um, on or not not on Instagram. I'm sorry. Uh, it was on uh, Facebook Messenger, 
So they hit me up on Facebook Messenger and they were like, hey, what's your number? So I gave him my number. And like, it was like late at night. And I'm like, cause this is the person I had just talked to and he knew my cousin like very well. So I thought maybe he wanted to hit me up or something, give me some, cause I'm, I'm, I'm in Houston. Everything else, everything is going on in Chicago. So I don't know what's, what's going on type of thing. So um, he hit me up. He like, hey, let me get your number. I give him my number. So then he start asking other questions. And he was real thirsty for me to like give it to him like right away. So I like, damn, who is this? So I, I think I hit somebody up. I think I hit my brother up. I talked to one of my coworkers and I'm like, yo, it seemed like somebody just seemed like a scam or something. So I hit my my brother up and he was like, my brother winds up telling me. They like, yeah, he got his he got his uh page. He told me he got his page hacked. So I'm like, damn, I gave the dude my number and everything. So he's asking me other questions and I didn't give it to him. So I blocked him. And um he wind up for some for like bro, I don't know how he did it. Now I'm I'm not gonna go too in detail about it because I got a few more minutes until I gotta go to work. But um literally like after I hit my brother up and I told him and he told me he got he hacked me, I blocked him. I blocked the guy and then um, somehow my my Facebook account get locked. I get locked out of my account. So I'm like, damn. So I'm like, damn, what's going on? So I'm like, uh, so something told me to tell tell some people that I was recently talking to on my messenger. I said, hey, just delete, delete messages, delete everything, like, whatever you got, just delete it, like, fuck it, and like, what's going on, bro, like, what's going on, I'm just like, man, um, I feel like somebody about to steal my Facebook, I felt it coming, because he logged me out the first time, so I'm like, damn, somebody about to steal my Facebook or whatever, so I wound up getting my Facebook, like, he wound up logging me out two times, so I fought, I think I fought with him at least four or five times, I think, four or five times he was locking me out of my facebook getting back in my shit and i was getting back in my shit and all that so basically he finally took it after like the third fourth time he took my account and um yeah bro he took my account this all happened last week uh yeah he took my account and i'm just telling people like shit everybody keep hitting me up everybody hit me up on social media uh, like, hey, is this you? I'm like, nah, that's not me, man. Just block. I just like just report and block it. And like, so yeah, basically, this person has my um, yeah, he got my account, got my account, got into my account, and um, yes, got everything basically. Like, got into my Facebook. He's still messaging people, asking them, you know, he asking them different questions like uh. Like, um, you know, cash at me $100 or, like, stupid. He just picking random people just to do, like... I, and I kid you not, I don't talk to a lot of people on social media. Like, I just don't. Like, I'm just that type of dude. Like, I just be to myself. So, like, like 99% of the people that I have on my Facebook, I wasn't even talking to anyways. So, like, it just... You know, people just hit me up randomly, like, you know what I'm saying? Because of the situation. I know, like, once that person hit me up, I'm like, oh, yeah, I know what it is. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I was kind of, like, already prepared. Like, hey, just report and block this person or whatever. But, yeah, basically, the person took my account. And I just took it, like, look, I'm not really a social media type of person. So, it didn't, it didn't really hurt me as much. It just more so like I got a lot of memories on my Facebook. I've had my Facebook since uh, I was probably like 19 or something like that, maybe 18 or something like that. So, um, like I said, I was kind of late on a lot of social media because me growing up, I didn't have a phone. I didn't have no electronics or anything like that. So, yeah, basically, um, yeah, just a lot of memories on there, man. Like mostly my boxing memories, um, me, you know doing my little boxing i got all my little videos on there and shit like that 
pictures and stuff and yeah the guy he took my uh he got my account and um he got it nothing i could do about it um like i say if anything y'all y'all i i mean i'm not really thirsty to get it back i'm not really tripping it is what it is um but yeah this week was kind of crazy because so he took all like he t so all the accounts that i had on there which was snapchat and um and instagram he took it all off like even on my instagram so i'm you know just on my instagram chilling and then this week just happened just was it yesterday i think it was yesterday um so to right now it's i don't know when it's gonna be posted but today is what friday uh friday the 13th yeah Ooh. yeah it's friday the 13th this is that's which is crazy why all this shit is going on uh yesterday was thursday though it was on the 12th and um i'm just randomly on my facebook i mean not not on my facebook on my instagram i'm just randomly on my instagram just chilling i'm scrolling uh next thing you know my sh i'm thinking this may be my wi-fi because this wi-fi my my connection here is trash so uh i'm sitting here scrolling up scrolling up and it's all of a sudden it says logging out log out log out i'm just like what what's going on instagram getting logged out i log out i'm like damn what the fuck like why is it logging me out i go back to it i go i think i go i went back to sleep I ain't think nothing of it. I went back to sleep. I wake up. And it's steady showing me I'm logging out. It said it said logged out. So I'm like, I go, I I go and try to re-log back in. I get back in. I go to, I go to my email. My email saying, This person just changed your this person, and it's the dude full I this the full his full email. It's short, it's like a Mexican guy or something like that. Mexican dude. He it says um so and so uh with with his uh email, he changed he changed my email to his email and was like um trying to get him my she changed he changed my email to his email. So so when I get back I get back in, I don't know how I got back in, because if he changed it changed it to his email, how the fuck I get back in? I get back in for a couple for for a little minute and I wind up messaging somebody on there that I was recently messaging. Oh, somebody on my in my messages was like, hey, so he already had started before I logged back in. He already had started like trying to get people, trying to finesse people, trying to get they get their information or whatever. He was like, hey, could you log me back into Facebook? And shit like that. And I'm like, yo, I said, yo, this not me. Uh, I say somebody trying to get my Facebook, but that whoever said that that's not me, or whatever. I said, uh, like he trying to hack me or whatever like that. Like, uh, so I was trying to tell her that, and I instantly, I, as I as I messaged it, I sent it, and it was like a few minutes later, boom, I got kicked out of my Instagram. That was it. I looked on my email; it got a whole new email. He even changed my uh my uh he basically changed he basically changed my whole account. He basically changed my whole account. Um everything, bro. So I don't have an Instagram or Facebook. Um he probably gonna take my my Snapchat. And the reason why I think um because I I'm I'm sure if he could take my Instagram, he could take my Snapchat. So basically my social media is probably gonna be gonna be done for probably by next week. Um I'm actually supposed to be going home pretty soon. Um so hopefully I can I might have to get my number and everything changed, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, uh this person is hacked into all my shit. Um, whoever he is, man, you smart, smart as fuck. But yeah, he basically got my account. I'm not trying to make this too long, but yeah, this person hacked into my Facebook and my IG. 
So I can no longer use neither one, unfortunately. So uh, like I say, I wouldn't even want to tell you to follow me on Snapchat because if he got my Instagram and he got my Facebook, he going to get my Snapchat. Like, it's not that hard. Obviously, it ain't that hard for him. But yeah, unfortunately, yep. Yeah. Um, I actually got dude email. I actually sent him an email too. Um, nothing, nothing nice, obviously, nothing nice. Uh, but yeah, I'm not really tripping. Like it's crazy. Like you would think I would be sad about this shit or like hurt, but like I'm not really a big social media person. So even when I had these social medias, I was barely on them. So like. I'm not really tripping about it. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. But yeah, it's just like, it kind of just sucks. Because it's like, I'm already dealing with the fact that I'm being here. Um, stressing about that. Um, I just want to go home so bad. Um, we've been here and this job has been stressful. This communication has been terrible here. I'm just ready to go home and just figure things out um, from there. And um, I don't know, just it's just a lot of shit going on for me. So yeah, I think I, I don't know. I might be in a little depression right now, but I ain't. It ain't nothing that I can't get through. You know what I'm saying, your boy. You know what I'm saying, your boy strong. But I ain't gonna let this go on too long because I want to post this and let it get through. Maybe tonight or something like that. Because I'm actually about to go to work in a few minutes. I actually got to go to work in a few minutes. I'm about to get ready. But yeah, man. Uh, my message is, man, just be careful, you know what I'm saying, who you talking to on Facebook. There's people that hack you, uh, steal your whole account, steal everything. Um, man, just be careful what you putting on there, too. Um, yeah, just be careful what you put on that. Luckily, I haven't, you know, I, I really wasn't talking to nobody like that. It was just one person I was conversating with. I, I used to do it because we used to talk consistently, and that person didn't have nothing on there. And they were like, um... He was like, oh, I got your nudes and shit like that. But, like, person never sent me nudes on, on Facebook. So, <laughs> like, like you didn't win, brother. Like, <laughs> but anyways, uh, yeah, man, just, just weird shit, man. Be careful. Like I say, if anybody know, like, what I could do about that, just let me know. If not, just, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. I got his, I actually got his email so that's, I mean, that's the only thing I really got from that whole situation is I, I actually got an email. I actually know he, I actually know he's in Chicago, actually, which is crazy. It'd be your own people for real. But he's actually in Chicago. So, you know, that's pretty much all I got from that. Um, but yeah, man, just, uh, just keep y'all, keep, keep me in y'all thoughts, man, y'all prayers, man. Just, you know, man encourage me man motivate me just to keep going and keep i mean i don't really need no motivation but i just need you know I, it's it's good to see somebody like support you or like let you know keep going man stay strong it's just a good feeling but it's your boy mike lethal this this video has been going too far too long so i'm gonna just go and cut it off right here it's your boy mike lethal and i'm out